Hi, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Norm, it is app of the daytime. So, Will, I had a dream. Yes. A couple on May second. Yeah, today. Okay, today, May second. And I, I woke up and I wanted to shoot video because we came up from Nab. Yeah. And I'm totally in this shooting video mindset. Okay. And I like the iPhone. It's easy for shooting video, but. I'm not really shooting a lot of video with it because the video is it's okay. It's 1080p, but you can't really change the settings. Well, it takes up a ton of space on your on your phone too. Yep. So you know. Also, the videos don't look that special. They're just camera smartphone camera phone videos. So uh, I think uh, my videos look special. Uh, to your parents. Chloe maybe. Chloe runs to around, your wife, and chases to your, the ball, to your loved and ones. She barks. They're kind. You know. Um, but I wanted an app that could shoot video that looked different from what you could normally shoot with the camera app at 24 frames per second. So something that gives you more granular control over settings and exposure and stuff like that, just like Camera Plus does for photos. But for video, I okay. wanted a more filmic look. And it turns out there is an app for that. A filmic look, you say? Yes, the app actually coincidentally is called Filmic Pro. It's a $4 uh -oh. app for the iPhone. $4? It's kind of pricey, but the results really speak for themselves. And we'll give you some demos of the video that okay. I shot. But I'm gonna show you the done. app first. When you load up the app, it just looks like a regular camera app, and already you can tell there are two, uh, two boxes in the app. And if you've used something like Camera Plus or Camera Awesome, you'll recognize one stands for focus and one for exposure. With the standard iPhone camera app, you only have one box for both exposure and focus. So I can tap, and for example, you don't, you don't need to juggle, to juggle just yet. Um, and I can change exposure and the focus depending on where I want it to be. And then I can lock it, which is the most important thing. Because when you're shooting a video with just the camera app, it tends to refocus unless you focus lock. Okay. And you don't want that constant refocusing yeah, that makes in your people, videos. People lock yeah, it, it, it doesn't look professional. So not only can you focus your, your, uh, your lock, your focus and your exposure, you can also turn on a light. Here goes wow, a, a light. bright light. That's I don't bright. need it right now. Uh, and you can also change the white balance and fix that, correct it a little bit. I think it's fine. But of course, the best thing is you can change the frame rate. So you can change from anywhere from one frame per second. Is it time for me to juggle yet? Not yet, all the way to 24, 25 frames per second or 30 FPS. I Hold like on. 24. But Peter Jackson said 24 frames per second sucks. But he's already on a different level. He's up to 48 frames per second. We're So you're half as good as Peter Jackson when you I, use this I, app? I wish I was. It's amazing, we should make the Hobbit yeah. or the uh, Habit. You can record in 1080p or different. 720p. And there are a bunch of other configurations. Okay. You can, you can have an audio meter, you can have your wolf thirds, you can frame it so it looks like a 35 millimeter frame. So this is basically nine. just like being a DP on a big movie, but on your phone. But on your phone. So I'm gonna shoot a short video right now and have the audio meter. Is it time to juggle yet? It, almost. And I'm gonna lock focus. Okay. Lock so this is exposure. so the ball's flying in front of my face. Don't change the focus exactly. or the exposure. And I don't get the, the bouncy effect. Okay. And then I'm gonna start recording. And there we go. Well, that was. I whiffed. I'm just gonna throw the ball up in the air. There's a ball. These balls are a little bit too big for juggling. So that's a video I just shot in 24 frames per second. You can, yes. It'll save it to your camera roll or you can save it to the app. You can edit it in iMovie, upload it to YouTube. The effect isn't extremely pronounced because it's still an iPhone app and... Does it actually change the way the sensor shoots shoots the video? Yeah, or it actually it... Ch changes okay. how, how many frames it captures, but you can of course change your ISO or aperture or the shutter speed. And what Joe was telling me was that most professionals, they actually double the shutter sp speed for the frame. So if you're shooting at 24 FPS, you want the shutter to be 1 48th of a second. So you get two, frame, two, yeah, two frames for every shutter. You can't do that with the iPhone, unfortunately. The, the effect does work though. So when I when you watch a video in 24 frames, it looks a little different. It's like the reverse soap opera effect. It's the action hmm, effect. Interesting. Uh, with your phone. So that's Filmic Pro. I think it's very neat. If you combine this with um, decent image stabilization in iMovie for like uh, for your yeah, laptop. Or, or a not, tripod or monopod or something like a that. Tripod right? for sure is very helpful. Or uh, a third party uh, camera lens for iPhone. Um, you can actually shoot some quite good videos. Interesting. So it's four bucks. It's out now. It's Filmic Pro. We'll be back with more app later. Until then, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, and there's more video after this, right? Yeah. In 24 frames per second. 24. It's half of Peter Jackson.